And turn has advanced. Indeed it has. Let's watch that turn button. Watching. You deploy 10. Uh huh. Well, he's going to be sorely behind. You did not take West Kazakh, that is sad. Mm. Alright. I guess I'll be giving you those additional two in Novo Sibirsk to help you take a spot in Central Eurasia this turn. I took Russian Far East. Awesome. Excellent. Since he didn't place uh, four guys, right? Yeah. He definitely captured something else. Probably Hawaiian Islands, maybe, we think? Uh, yeah, he probably finished East Pacific. So I should go in there with a decent number. I yeah. think eight sounds okay, does it? Mm-hmm. All right, I'll go in first move. Okay, and I'm going to be finishing Central America. Mm-hmm. And... Sounds good. Hmm. How many extra guys do you have? Uh, I have 14 I can send. I was thinking we can overwhelm him. This is going to be great. Yeah, we can potentially overwhelm him next turn. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I'll be up by four income... So I'll be deploying 12 and then whatever you send me this turn as well. All right. I'll be sending it to your third move. Is that a big deal? That's fine. Yeah, I mean, I if, he, so. if he attacks, it, it's as bad I do for him. Yeah, really. So you're going to be spending six guys to guarantee Central America unless we spot Japone Safado. Or no, I mean King of War Duck coming in through... Florida to take Caribbean islands that'd be hilarious or from the Azores or is the Azores waste landed no it's not I don't not. think it is yeah okay so King of Vortex probably in Africa North America one of those two is what it seems it seems more and more likely that's going to be Canada though yeah. So be so you might end up seeing him in Alaska. That'd be fine by me. <laughs> I I would love to see him. I have twenty one income. I'm not afraid. I ain't scared. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh. Well, I don't think there's anything we can do about him now. So I'm just going to commit with this. Yep. I like this. So yes, Western Kazakh. Central America, the how much you have one extra? No, you don't have any. Wait, you have two extra. You can place in Peru, right? Yeah, I placed okay. two. Gotcha, Coolio. Yep. All right, committing. Okay. Let's watch. Watching. All right. He placed seventeen. Oh. So. And he moved in another seventeen. Oh, his teammate gifted him something. Oh, okay. I mean, he gifted his teammate. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Well, they're not in Hawaiian Islands. Well, I guess this won't be as easy to overwhelm him as we were thinking. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> he hit. He oh, was gosh. <laughs> wow. Oh. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Wow. Okay, let's see. Oh. So he had gifted his teammate. Um, that was a bad so, idea. His teammate sent him 17. Oh. Uh, maybe they did. Maybe they weren't behind a card piece. Think about it. Where did that other three income come from? Uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm thinking they weren't behind a card piece. I'm thinking he had enough leftovers that one turn that you missed a card. He had enough leftovers in Solomon Islands to Maybe. take Samoa. That's what I'm thinking. 
Yeah. That is definitely possible. And what they did last turn quite possibly might have been to just delay um they he placed some guys back in Samoa when he gifted it, I guess. Um or he I guess he went into South Asia. I mean that's the only other alternative. Huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Mm. Huh. Well, we're looking pretty good over there still. <laughs> Although it's going to be harder now. But. Yeah. That's well, fine. Let's see. They gambled that you'd hit them this turn. And yeah. you didn't. You just expanded. Like such a troll. <laughs> Playing conservatively. <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh wow but there's no way his teammate has 17 income no there's no freaking way uh, <laughs> uh he is most likely in the Canada area though right yeah, it seems likely. All right. Hmm. Well, I'm contemplating what to do now. I guess what I should do is just go to Taiwan with a ton. Yeah. Head there with a stack. And, um... I'm not going to be heading into uh, Central Eurasia, though. Because oh, I think won't. going to Xinjiang and then Tibet is a better option. I agree. That is a good point. Wait, you don't want to... How are you going to do this then? What are, you... what are your moves this turn? Uh... This turn, I guess, just put four in Xinjiang, put four in Xinjiang. And then the central Kazakh... Just order... move them over to East Kazakh. Well, they're going to be useless. They're going to be a turn behind. Well, going to Xinjiang this turn is more of a defensive thing. Okay. Like, I wouldn't be hitting Tibet immediately. It would just be preventing him from hitting Xinjiang. Because he, he they know that you have Siberia and everything. Well, yeah. So they want to go north, and pro they're probably going to be hitting Mongolia as soon as they get a chance. I mean, they don't really have a chance right now, because... Of the fight in East Pacific. Mm hmm. But as soon as they get a chance, then they will be. I'm pretty much. Eh. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I might not. I don't even think I can hit Jinjang, actually. I might not even be able to get a card. Just because just... I got to defend in Peru. Uh. Huh? You're okay. That's 17 income plus everything his teammate sends him. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have 17 income, dude. Think about it. Where's he gonna, Where's that other three coming from? He could from? have finished South Asia, potentially. It's... No, he couldn't have. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's not possible, <laughs> considering what he sent uh, against us. No. Okay, then 14 income plus whatever his teammate sends him. I, I is... was saying the 17 income was... I said he went into South Asia. I don't think he's finished it. Um... The... True, then going to Xinjiang is not as important. Then I, then I guess I can't hit Central Eurasia. So Central Asian mountains? Sure. Um, I was thinking that he used the card and went in, went further in, like went to Myanmar. Well, then how does teammate give him 17? I thought his teammate was using the card. No, I figured... Uh, no, I, I figured that was probably Japon Safado who was using the card. Okay, then where did those 17 guys come from? Um, his teammate? Yeah, how did his teammate have 17 income? Um, he probably didn't have a whole 17 income. That was probably something that, uh... A few leftovers. Yeah, yeah. King of Warduck left behind something like... He only deployed 10. 
True. I mean, he probably placed a few in Sumatra or something like that, but his his teammate could have something like 12 income. Yeah. I mean, let's see. Let's see what what's in Canada. Let's see. He has... He doesn't have Alaska, so he could have the other three bonuses. So that's 914 income. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's yeah. probably the case. Okay. Alright, well, what I'm thinking about... How much should I send you in Peru, and how much should I use to take Taiwan? That's what I'm trying to figure out. The happy medium there. Um, assuming they both have 14 income... They're going to have 42 at the end of this turn. 52, I'm sorry. They won't um, place all 14 for each, I don't... True. But they will be up to at least 45, and I can get up to 40 if I place all my income. So I'd say give me it like at least 6. Okay, I was thinking... Um... Um, I was, I was just, I had just had down eight and then I was going okay. to use the rest 19 to hit Taiwan. Yeah. I mean, that should be plenty to overwhelm him. Okay. As long as you can kill a stack of 18, just in case. Yeah. I believe I could. Yes. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so too. I'm yeah. glad we got good ratios with that. Um, so, are you, wait, why don't you go to Azores? I think that might be spreading myself a little thin. No, I'm thinking you do it for now, and then you, um, I mean, gift it to me. I could. Okay. <laughs> I mean, um, that seems like a pretty good idea to me. Or you could just go through Alaska. I mean, I could, but that would take additional turns. That would take well, you two would turns. you could hit Bethel this turn. I could hit the Azores this turn. Next turn, I have to give it to you. Next turn, you hit Anchorage or Fairbanks. Anchorage would be better. You would get a double border on them in just as quickly as you would get a single border on them if if I do this. Where's a double border in Alaska? Because assuming he has both South Canada and New Zealand. No, North no, Canada. Matthew, there's a wasteland. There are two wastelands there. Fairbanks and Anchorage are both wasteland. Oh, landed. wow. Okay, never mind. Um, That's why I was thinking, no, not Alaska. Hmm. I like the Azores because it's a good spot where I can go into Africa or Canada or or even Europe. Okay. Well, it's just a nice central place for me to invade all that stuff, depending on what it. I see. Because... Then should I wait in Kazakhstan and not hit anything, so I can save those guys, so I can get a card some other time? No, just go ahead and hit Central Asian Mountains. Whatever you need, like I, I can, I can back you up here and uh, sending stuff to Peru. So it's not like you need to worry about uh, him. Well, you're going you to be getting a border. Again in Taiwan, and I'm going to be gifting this to you. That's possible. So what I'm... I don't I don't see how else I'm going to get a card piece next turn. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm going to need to put a new numerous guys in the Azores next turn to defend that, as well as some in Peru. Okay, I think I see what you're saying. Um... So I can save these guys. I mean, it's not like I'm going to get the bonus in two turns. I'm not going to have the, be able to spare the guys. Unless, well, you know, on the chance where I don't see him from going to the Azores. Well, I could surprise him and suddenly drop in, you know, 20 guys for you. And switch it up instead of placing stuff in Taiwan. That could always happen. Yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to decide how I want to handle this uh, this Japan thing. 
because there's I really like Hawaiian Islands as well because uh, I can thread in Solomon Islands from there mm-hmm. uh, but I don't want to get into a position where his teammate can help him and I'm also not sure about as soon as I show myself in uh, Taiwan and it's clear I went through Japan uh, his teammates gonna come up to Hawaiian Islands so I'm trying to contemplate uh, well actually that's not you something could blockade. yeah that's exactly what I was thinking mm -hmm. blockade I mean, you don't have to do it this turn do it next turn exactly that's what I was thinking as well that's exactly what I was about to wait say. for those extra guys in Kamchatka to get down there well they would already be there at the end of this turn they would be a part of the blockade yeah but anyway I'll just hit with 19 in Taiwan um, alright then so yeah don't don't worry about the Azores I guess because we can't really do as much do a whole lot there at this point anyway hmm okay Hmm. Oh man. I just really want to get to this guy though. <laughs> I don't like that he's able to expand whenever he wants in North America if he's there, provided he th he's there, which he probably is. I don't like Well, that. he's putting all of his income to help his teammate. So he's he'd be expanding really slowly. True, yeah, but still. <sighs> all right. Um. All right. Well, I'm sending you eight guys. First move, transfer only, and then I am hitting uh, Taiwan. In fact, I guess the hidden Taiwan should be... No, I'll make it second move. Just in case he does want to go in first move, I wouldn't expect it to be with all that much. Yeah. All right. All right. So, yes, this would be great if, uh, if you could get those guys in North Mexico back across to Caribbean islands. Yeah, <laughs> they're on their way. Hmm. All right, well, we'll see what happens when turn advances. Indeed. And turn advanced. And let's crush our enemies. <laughs> let's watch. Watch it. Okay. Seven in Tahiti, so he deployed okay. stuff elsewhere. And his teammate moved in 14. Uh-huh, so we still outnumber him. And hi there, how you doing Philippines? How you doing? How you doing? Having fun down here? You like it? I like it too. Oh, uh, they attacked uh, Southwest Russia. Okay, so well, that's where the other guy's location is. Yeah, there's the guy King that of War Ducks last location. Um, well, he attacked. He sent his teammate 14, so he's got at least 14 income. Hmm. So. Greenland, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, Scandinavia. That would be Seven. 17. Which is yeah, possible because he must okay, have attacked yeah. Southwest Russia with something. So he could have attacked that with three. Well, he moved 17 give... last turn. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I was just assuming those were leftovers. Okay. Um... So that's probably it. Yeah. Now there is the Japan Safado deployed. Only seven guys that we could see. So that's another seven somewhere, probably in Singapore, South e South Asia somewhere. Yeah, he's gonna come through, saying hello in Xinjiang. That's great. He'll still die though because he won't have the income for it. <laughs> so mm. I know he can place up to fourteen in Philippines, so he'll have fifteen there. So I'm gonna hit him with twenty-five. Okay. Because, yeah. 60% of 25 is 15, so... You have an 85% chance of winning. I should kill. And I guess I'll also do... Oh, we have a reinforcement card? Or do we? Yes. Awesome. I think you should take that, perhaps. 
I would also like to play uh, the blockade card in Japan. That's a good idea. I agree. How many should I have there? It's 500%. Um, I guess I should have 20. Yeah, 20 sounds plenty. Seems to be plenty. What I want is I want something that, uh, that what's his name? If he goes to Hawaiian Islands, he can't just bowl over it. Yeah. So. I agree. The only thing is, with 20, you can still take that. You can still take 20 with something like 32 or 33 or something. Uh, well, so two we can move into threaten him. Like, I can hit the Azores or something. And then if you want to move in through Volga, we can get come out of her both sides. Yep. He won't be able... If he, if he deploys enough stuff to take down Japan... Okay, you lose a three bonus, but he'll be losing more, much more than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have borders we can get to in West Central Russia and Northwest Russia. Nom nom, Northwest Russia looks mighty delicious. Mmm. Bonuses. <laughs> okay, so... you And I could even... Because he outnumbers me in income, I'll probably hit the Azores, and instead of trying to take him in Spain, I'll move to Nova Scotia and then Labrador. Oh, man. Do Come a on. little juke de juke juke de juke And then that will coincide with you getting double borders on Eastern Europe and Scandinavia. The only problem is I don't want him coming through the Azores to Caribbean islands. That would suck. True. If we think that's a problem, we can save the blockade and do that in Caribbean islands. No, that would be bad. Yeah, I was uh, like, let's, what? Let's, <laughs> wow. okay. let's not. For some do reason, that. I didn't. Re I forgot there was part of the bonus. Okay. Let's I've been not for like do 20 that. Hours. Okay. Just twenty. Twenty-four hours. Just that's twenty. Sleep. Twenty-eight hours. Week. Thirty-six hours. Doesn't matter. It's all the same. Yep. Sleep is for the week. Many, many hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll take the card. Yes. How many should I put in Peru? Because he's likely to send Tahiti a good amount again. Especially because Chacon Savada is going to be putting everything in uh, Philippines. If Probably. he does, he'll die. <laughs> so I hope he does. Oh, God, I hope he does. Uh, but he probably won't. Um, he'll probably do something like blockade in New Guinea and play stuff in Borneo. So he can defend Borneo next turn. Or he thinks he can. That would make True. sense. I would think that would be a smart idea. To blockade New Guinea and fight in Borneo. Yep, I agree. But anyway... Uh, he will lose Southeast Asia this turn. Awesome, awesome. Unless he actually has South Asia. If he has all of South Asia, then he'll defend it. That would be a sad moment. That would make me a sad panda. Uh, let's see, 14, 17, 10... So the total income that he has not deployed in Tahiti over the last four turns has been four plus two plus seven. Okay. Um, four to take that's Singapore. That's 13 guys. So. Four to take Singapore. He doesn't have enough turns. It, <sighs> I mean, that's not enough turns. Indo-Chinese Peninsula, one, two, three, four. Well, through Sri Lanka, you can get it in three turns. Well, I mean, four, he doesn't have four. enough guys for that. He wouldn't waste guys going to Sri Lanka. His goal is to get to us in Jin through Xinjiang. So he would not waste his time. Yeah. Okay, so the fact that he only deployed seven in Tahiti, he probably put seven to take down the the uh four in North Bay of Bengal. 
But that was the start location in South Asia. So he probably just captured that. Mm hmm. I could see that, yeah. So he'll be going to Tibet this turn. Meaning you should take Xinjiang. I, that's just, stretching that. Okay, so the Xinjiang is minor right now. It's a single border with you and a single border with my bonus. But it borders Mongolia. Yeah, so he shouldn't hit Xinjiang. No, he should hit Xinjiang so we can get to Mongolia. He should hit King High so he goes there undetected. No, he shouldn't actually. Because he should want us to need to play his guys to try and defend him. And then he goes to Mongolia. And it just wastes our reinforcements. Then shouldn't you be taking Mongolia? Well, that that can't... It, it's not a problem now. Unless he yeah, took I King High I... that turn. If he took King High... <laughs> Okay, I don't, I don't think he's going for Tibet this turn. Okay, because he mm -hmm. should have hit it last turn from Myanmar if he was going for that. There was no reason for him to put seven over there, unless he's just trying to build up a slight stack in Tibet. Or unless he took King High. Which I don't think he can do actually. But fourteen, he couldn't do anything that turn. 14 again, couldn't do anything that turn. 4. Yeah, he couldn't do it. He can't be there. He doesn't have enough. He does have enough. Oh, really? Yes. Um, let's see. So, that's 14. That's 14. On turn eight, he could have captured. He bought it much of that. He well, the only way is if he had a few extras that he could have captured Singapore with. Then on turn eight, he captures Indo Chinese Peninsula. Turn nine, he ends up capturing Myanmar. And then turn ten, he you know he would have had Tibet. Okay. So he could be in Tibet right now, though. Yeah. Yeah. In which case, I should not take Xinjiang, because he would just kill me. True. He would. In that case, I should be the one in Xinjiang. But what I'd rather do is commit to killing him in the Australias, I... because I don't think he has enough income to do... I, I mean, he doesn't have enough income to wound me. Yeah. He only has... He'll, he'll only have 11 income. So I'll have twice his income. <laughs> See, I expect his teammate now that they saw me to come down saw me come down through Japan, I expect his teammate to come up in Hawaiian Islands. And he'll have a stack. He should have a stack anyway. And then he'll see my blockade in Japan and he'll be like, Well crap. Rap rap. Yep. And then he might, hopefully, he doesn't go to California. <laughs> if he sees you in Azores, he will go to California. He will totally go for California, then. Possibly. Hmm. By that point, though, we'll be threatening his bonuses. Yeah, yeah. We'd have to make sure the trades are in our favor. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. All right. That's these are all risks we got to deal with. But anyway, I'm going to Volga with twelve, okay. Philippines with twenty-five, blockade Japan to make twenty. All, all right. right Sound good. Yep. All right then. Let us commit. Watching turn. Watching. All right.